Do you want to know how to make an easy to build melon and pumpkin farm that takes hardly any resources at all? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how to build one. Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High and in this video I am going to show you how to build this melon and pumpkin farm you see behind me. And it's really easy and simple to build, so without further ado, let's get on with it. Alright, so everything you will need is in this chest right here, and that is some dirt or grass, some sticky pistons, some melon and pumpkin seeds, a hoe, a few buckets of water, observers, some redstone, some signs or some smooth slabs but I'll show you how to do both for the water streams some building blocks so I'm using stone bricks some compressed ice a chest some hoppers some bone mill and a light source I'm going to use glowstone for this purposes so let's grab all of these out of the chest so the first thing you want to do is place some grass 15 blocks long so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right, so now we've got that, we can now get some building blocks out and then place a row of blocks behind that, like so. This will just give you an idea of where to place the water. So every bl other block from there, we're going to take it, we're going to add a block behind it, like so. So every other block we add a block behind it and then we can take the middle ones out like that and then you put your water in the middle so it can hydrate this dirt. Basically that's the idea of it anyway so let's do that and get rid of these and then add your water in like so. Then what we can do is we can till this dirt out, um, that's next to the water as you can see I'm doing here then you, what you want to do is alternate your melon and pumpkin seeds when you put them on the tilled dirt so one pumpkin then one melon one pumpkin then one melon and so on and so forth until you get to the end you're going to have an odd number on this row because of the odd amount of patches of dirt but if you wanted to make it even you can build this up twice um, because it is a stackable design and then just start off with either your melon and pumpkins on the other side on the top so that it's an even amount of melon and pumpkins but I'm just going to do this for now so once you've planted your melon and pumpkins you can now get your observers out and you want to place your observer facing this stalk here but an easy way to do that is find the hitbox of the stalk and just place your observer like so. Some of these have already grown because I've got the tick speed high. But that is a really easy way to actually place your observers using the stalk. Which is why I grew them first. you just got to be careful you don't trample on them like that. Um, because it's easily done. So let's grow that back. And now you've got your observers in. We can now place our pistons in. And yes, you guessed it, these go in in between the gaps of the observers, like this. So let's just do that quickly. You need two, four, six, you need eight pistons a row, seven observers, which isn't really that hard to get, to be fair with you. So once you've got your pistons in, you can now grab your building blocks again and place blocks behind the observers and the pistons like this. So I'm just going to do that quickly like that and then grab some redstone you need about 15 bits of redstone and then just go all along this line like so so every time as you just saw there every time one of these observers get a block update it triggers the whole thing which is pretty awesome so this is the pretty much the basics of the melon and pumpkin farm done so now you've just got to build your water stream which is pretty easy so what we want to do is block off an area like this so we want to go 15 blocks in this direction like so 
uh, and then block off the end like that and then we go down get rid of this row of blocks here so it's too deep instead of just one then what you want to do is get rid of the other row like this so that you can place your compressed ice down so then we get our compressed ice out and place that right on the bottom there so there's three bl two blocks gap between the compressed ice and the pumpkins and technically three with the compressed ice or including the compressed ice so let's place that down there and you can also change that block for dirt if you really wanted to and change that for um, bricks if you want to just to make it look a bit decent but it depends on the design you want to go for in all fairness so let's just change that out quickly like so and then like that and then you could do it on this side as well if you really wanted to so let's just do that quickly right so now that's done now we can actually place our water so we place our water one water source can go there so all the items get flung over to the other side so there's two ways of doing the water streams with signs or with half slabs so the half slab way is basically add a uh, half slab right under a piston would be a better idea and then add another water source next to the half slab so any item that does get chucked into the water stream for example these melon pumpkins will go under the half slab over to the other side the only problem with using a half slab is sometimes items do get stuck on them which is why I suggest doing it the other way so if we just get rid of that half half slab we can place a sign there like that and then we place another sign one block to the left and one block up on this bit of dirt there then we can add a water source on top of that sign so anything that does drop on this water gets chucked along over to the other side and anything that flies along over this side will just go under it so let's change the time of day again quickly so now you've got your water stream in it's just a case of doing the collection system which is fairly simple you just grab yourself some hoppers and a chest like this then you can get rid of that block for the time being put down some chests probably here like so and then you can just have a hopper leading into that chest like that like so and then we can replace them blocks back so if that annoys you with the water over the hopper you can either block it off like that or you can put a half slab over the top as well it shouldn't interfere with any items going in as you can see just there the items are filling up the only problem with the block is you can't access the chest so you could also use a half slab and then access it and we're getting quite a few items in there already so that's pretty much the melon and pumpkin farm done but there are a few other things you would want to do and that would be one to light it up so let's grab some glowstone and basically I'm going to put a piece of glowstone on every bit of observer like that and then we can get some stone and just put that in the middle so we're filling the gap up and that is how you make it look decent and you can also tile this as well so your next row will be there so two blocks above the first row of melon pump and pumpkins you can actually tile this up so let's do that quickly so we've got our dirt there then we can grab our stone slabs out and place them like this like so then we want to cover them gaps up like this so we can put the water behind it so then we can put the water in these gaps here right above the glowstone basically then we till this gra grass or soil like so next to the water and then we can add our melon and pumpkins in so this time I'm using a melon seed then pumpkin seed then melon then pumpkin just to make it even from the bottom because there's odd numbers here then we can add our observers like so and 
you've got to find the hitbox of the stalk, which is not easy sometimes, but it there eventually so there we go like that oh no like that and the same on all of these like so there's your observers in now then we grab our pistons and place every piston facing this way like so next to the observers then we add a block a row of blocks behind the pistons and observers like this and then we just get a redstone dust and put a line of redstone dust along here like so and then that is it it's really easy to do and fairly simple and the yields are quite decent as well I know you get stuff like that where the melon and pumpkins are like falling from one side and staying on the block but, but unfortunately that is just how minecraft items work and also you don't have to use um sticky pistons for this you can just use normal pistons as well it works just the same way so if we get rid of these pistons for example and add some normal pistons it will still do the same thing so i've just changed them for normal pistons and as you can see the farm is still running so let's just add some more light to the top of this because the reason why we have light is one for mobs and two because it helps the melon and pumpkins grow during the night so you get better yield out of it and that's the only thing left to do is get some glass and cover this thing so let's do that now and look how cool this is now so we've done that and I've added a layer of glass over to on this side um, just so that the items that do hit this wall will actually just fall down into the collection system and that is how you build an easy and simple melon and pumpkin farm so I hope you like this video and now you should be able to make this farm all on your own so thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. But I have been Mighty High, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.